This video is regarding what I do in the laboratory as a phlebotomist. So what I will be showing you is I will be processing blood specimens. I'm going to be showing you how I do that after I draw my patient's blood. I just want you all to know that this phlebotomy channel is not about me. <laughs> it's not about me. It's about learning and evolving and information because that's what we need to evolve. Before I show you this quick video in the laboratory, I want to let you know that all patient information is hidden. It is against the law. It is against HIPAA violations. So you will not be able to see any patient information. After I drew my patient's blood, I'm going to have my SST sit in an upright position for 30 minutes to allow it to clot. Now these tubes that I have in front of me, these are your clot activator tubes. They have a gel at the bottom of the SST, AKA tiger top tube. Now some of you will say, now what is that stuff at the bottom, right? It is a gel to separate. When you put it in the centrifuge, it's going to move up to the middle and it is going to separate your serum from your red blood cells. The gel at the bottom is a spray coated silica and a polymer gel. It's used to separate those red blood cells from the serum. And some of you are like, uh, why does it need to be separated? Well, the scientist needs that separated so they can test your serum and make determinations on your serum. So we're back here in the laboratory. After I drew my patient's blood, I put my SSTs on a rack so they can clot for 30 minutes. After that, I spin them in the centrifuge, and then I take my SST and I scan it. As soon as I scan it, these are instructions that come up on this computer screen. As soon as I scan my specimen in, it's going to tell me what I need to do to prepare my specimens for the scientist. As you look on this computer screen, it gives me instructions. So that we're going to go over the instructions and then we are going to pipette the fluid or liquid and put them in various tubes. As I'm looking at my pipette, in the middle it says 0 0.5. And on the screen it says 16 by 75 to 0 0.5. So we're going to pipette the fluid and put it in the 16 by 75 right here. And then we are going to put 0 0.5 in that tube the clear 16 by 75 tube. You can say pipette, you can say aliquot. The medical term is aliquot. So sample aliquoting is the practice of dividing a sample into one or more smaller portions. Each smaller portion of the sample is known as an aliquot. All right guys, so it says 0 0.5 for 16, 75. 16 by 75. There's a lid for it. So we're gonna process it. So this process of processing is very, very tricky. You have to be careful. Make sure you wear all of your PPE gear. Make sure you understand how your pipette works and know its delivery volume before you use it. And never allow the fluid, the serum, the plasma, the urine, or any bodily fluids to enter that bulb part. And make sure you pause after aspiration and immerse the tip to the proper depth. Trust me, I've seen people get fluid in their eye, bodily fluid in their eye, their face. Just make sure you are properly wearing your PPE before processing any type of specimen. Please. Thank you. After I've completed that instruction for that specific tube, I'm going to throw away my pipette and then I'm going to cap it. I'm going to put a cap on it and then I'm going to get my label and a label is going to print from it. After that, I'm going to place it in the 16 by 75 rack because it's ready to be shipped off. I drew a patient and the instructions told me to spin these tubes. This is a royal blue tube. As you know, there is no serum separator to separate those red blood cells. So you have to be very careful how you hold these tubes. 
You see, if I tilted it the wrong way, it could just mess up the whole specimen. Since there's no separator, you have to be careful when you move it. Okay, so after I take them out of the centrifuge, they will appear like this. Since there's no separator, you have to be very careful not to get those red blood cells mixed in. So I come up to my computer screen, it gives me the amount I need to put in these tubes. So we gotta take this plasma and put them in these tubes. So I finished the instructions that the screen told me to finish. The instructions said I had to get the specific tubes and put the plasma in that specific tube. The measurements for that tube was 0, 0.0, which means all of the plasma and no red blood cells. Just when you thought it was over, nope. <laughs> My day does not end. So the lab, that I'm at closes down. I stopped drawing patients, but I still have to process all those patients I saw in a day. It can be 100, it can be 200, it can be 300. So all those specimens that I drew or that my team drawn as a collective, we have to go in the back and we have to process. So after I finish processing, I'm in the back here now scanning all of those processed specimens and I have to scan them in to get them ready to ship off to the main lab um, in a bigger city. And those specimens are headed straight to our scientists. Thank you guys for watching this channel. I hope you take in all this information, you download, you upload. I really appreciate you guys watching my vlogs. You guys have a blessed day. Peace and love.